from Draconzing, Dungeon Siege 3, Episode 33, The Queen Still Stands. Lucas Desires. Run, up the path. Go up this mountain hill. Most of the cannons from the kill me. Oh, this place is all purple and stuff. Magical place. Got more yetis down there. No matter. Come help us. So yeah, as soon as I appear in the picture, they come after me. Oh, come on, come ahead and come after me. Uh, Lucas attacking from behind. Oh, that was supposed to be the other way. Get on the top of this hill for a better range. Better vision. Look at that monster trap down there. Found Roderick. I think it's that old guy I met earlier, is it? I don't remember his name. Down in the swamps. What's this? How did you get here? Calm yourself, Phineas. Our friend here helped us seal the rear entrance. We're all thankful for your heroics in the swamp. Especially those scouts whose lives you saved. I have no doubt that you'll prove your worth again. I don't doubt your worth. Your timing is just uncanny. No matter. Jane is doing her best to flood these mines with her men. Their numbers are great, and they've employed a fearsome creature. An old, blind, but powerful war beast. It trampled many of our men. We fell back and collapsed the main entrance, but others remain. For now, we are just trying to hold the Azunites back. Where is the queen? I've been traveling all over here to find out. We're looking for Queen Roslyn. Where is she? <laughs> she refuses to leave her army, even now. She's as stubborn as she is brave. Listen, Queen Roslyn will want to see you. She's still in her court. Just follow the path up the well. The well? I assume that's what we're standing in at the moment? The deep well, actually. That's what the dwarves called it when they were here. This chamber led to all the riches found in these mines. The wellspring of dwarven culture. The name was a mark of respect. What happened to the dwarves? That's a good question. I might have traps down there. There must have been hundreds of dwarves living in these mines. What happened to them? They died. Honorably, in the service of Her Majesty. And too great a sacrifice. I don't mean to insult the good queen. As in I knows. The loss weighs heavily upon her. This isn't the sort of mine I expected. Is there anything else I should know? I'm sure you've noticed more than a few oddities here. Like the floating rocks. The dwarven geomancy is still strong in the mines. Even if the dwarves are dead. This magic is their greatest legacy. The geomancy governs everything here. Even the air you breathe. Speaking of dwarves, I don't think I've ever even met one yet. So far I've only met some goblins and humans and shit. No elves or dwarves or anything. I'll go and find the queen. Good luck to you. We'll stay here a while longer and make sure that the tunnels will hold. I'll see you at the court. It's good to see you again. May Azunai keep you safe. That's quite a hole in the ground. Very impressive. As holes go. Okay, Lucas. Trying to be funny or something. Somebody on court. Still on his quest. Careful. 
Those flare-ups will cook you alive. There won't be any more explosions like the blast of 943. The dwarves oh, built these magic fans to keep the air clear. What the hell is that? It looks like an air duct fan or something. Made out of crystal. Can't get past it. Flames coming from the wall somehow. Hmm. Feels solid enough. What is this? I'm just standing on something. Highlight it. Oh, what the hell? A uh, secret area over here. That's pretty cool. There's no interaction button, but you just have to press right back or B to move it. Let me see what I picked up. Finally an upgrade. A really good one too. 125 Doom, I'll take that. 125 attack. Everything else is normal. Don't worry, those platforms are safer than they look. Just touch the crystal to make it move. And I knew that already, but thanks for the tip. I turned green. It's like a lever or something. This kind of reminds me of uh, Kingdoms of Amala right here. I was in a similar type cave with a bunch of crystals as well. How strange. It was near the end of the st uh, stage, end of, near the end of the game. Pretty similar feel too. These tunnels aren't safe, friend. James strains our lines as we speak. Go and see the Queen while there's time. And how exactly did I go there? You lock the gates, stupid. That was a different way. That's a... Uh, that's a long way down. Strange, isn't it? They call it the Stone Street. Been here for years, and it still confuses everyone but Phineas. Oh, there's a gigantic crystal in the middle. Source of all the magic power, I guess. What do you think the Queen is like? A bit young for me, I suppose, but maybe one of her handmaids. <laughs> Look, is thinking of the future right now. I'm marrying the queen. Her highness is just through this passageway. Please hurry. Go ahead, Lucas. Work your charm. What the hell? Can't get past these. Just standing there blocking. Always gotta take the scenic route. Why don't I just walk past that way? Destroy these crystals. Tumble down court. Uh, even more crystals over here. No frills here. I suppose one shouldn't expect too much of a royal court in exile. Give me a quick save over here. Oh, there's a shop. Let's do that later. Don't think this court will last much longer. We shall never abandon the Queen. Believe. You're the ones that helped Lord Devonsey get out of the swamp. The general swears by your prowess in battle. 
I've been instructed to sell you supplies at a steep discount. There's a shopkeeper right there. I can scarce believe my eyes. Queen Roslyn, these are our friends from the swamp, the ones who helped us escape. You! You couldn't know them, my queen. Perhaps you saw their kinsmen in a painting, so they only seem familiar. I saw you in the Moonfield when you spoke to the golden-haired child. Was it only a dream, or were you really there? The hell? She also had the same dream? You saw me, your majesty, but I didn't see you. Were you watching from afar? I had no sense of my own place. I seemed to be watching from above. But I heard the child's words as if I was standing at your side. I've met the child before, but only in dreams. Three nights ago, I saw him again. The child said that Jane and her army were near. That's why I told Lord Devonsey to collapse the front gate. Uh, it could be just a coincidence. You said that you've met the child more than once? The first time was the night my father was killed, and we fled his court in Glacen. It was Her Majesty's dream that led us safely here. She kept her calm. So young, but very much a queen. Every time Jane comes close to catching us, the child warns me and we escape. It's happened twice more since Glacen. So I guess she has some type of... Uh, what you call it? Psychic ability or something? Did the child say anything more? Only that help was coming. Three days after the siege began. Jane was clever this time. She traveled only by night, and she kept her army small and silent. We would never have been ready if the Queen hadn't warned us. Your Majesty, I was sent here to find you. The Legion seeks an alliance with the Royal Court. An alliance? I'm not sure the Queen is ready to take such a radical step. Am I not? My father refused to reconcile with the Legion. He kept his pride and lost himself a kingdom. If not for these Legionnaires, you would still be trapped in the swamp, and I would be at Jane Cassinda's mercy. For that alone, I trust them. This is not a matter of trust, Your Majesty, but of appearances. The Legion murdered your grandfather. What did you say, old man? They saved your ass, and you're trying to double-cross me now. That's a lie, and you know it. The Legion murdered no one. You are a Legionnaire yourself. You should know. And you abandoned your brothers and sisters. You believe Jane Cassinda's lies. Are you so sure you know the truth? Were you there? Were you privy to the Grand Master's council as I was? I hear no more talk of my grandfather's murder. Whatever the truth may be, these Legionnaires are our guests and our friends. Uh -huh. The signal? So soon? Jane moved faster than we thought. We're not ready to repel her. What the hell's going on? Jane and her army found a way into the mines? Two ways, actually. We collapsed the main entrance, but we didn't have time to seal the others. She's attacking all the breaches at once. Must be driving her people hard. This old guy is acting suspicious. I think he's working for Jane Cassinder. Just my initial thoughts. Let me help. You should flee. Let's see here. You should flee. Let me help. Let me help. Maybe she'll reward me later. Give us your leave, and we'll help you defend this place. A poor queen I should be if I refused the help of a friend. Lord Devonsey can tell you where you're needed most. The Jane soldiers are pushing their way into the mining tunnels above and below us. I'd thought to collapse those tunnels more quickly, but my people are too few. We need to drive back the enemy soldiers, set black powder charges at each of the mining tunnels, and get out of the way before they collapse. When the tunnels are sealed, is there any other way for Jane to get inside? Only one. A half-finished tunnel at the base of the deep well. I'd hope to seal all the entrances but that one. Force her to attack us there. But the present circumstances may work in our favor. 
the lower entrance won't seem so much like an obvious trap. Assuming, of course, that we can stop her forces in the mining tunnels. They better have backup if they're gonna send me to my death. How many of your soldiers are left? Just the few you saw in the swamp. Page boys and destitute laws, most of them. No time to waste, then. I'll head for the mining tunnels. Roderick is my officer in charge. He's probably on his way to the tunnels. And thank you. It means a great deal to have the Legion at my side. I see that everyone's been introduced. Please, Legionette, come speak to me when you have a moment. All right, Phineas, popping out of nowhere. Welcome to our home. Not the most lavish, of course, I'll admit, but it's not without a certain homely charm. Still, what little we do have is at risk. You know this all too well, I'm sure. The battle for this mountain will determine the Queen's future. But also at issue are the riches of the past. Dwarven treasures that must be preserved. Out of floating stones, valuable. Exactly what I want to hear. The floating stones I've seen. You're trying to protect things like that? <laughs> Levitating stones are but a trifle. Humble reminders of Glitterdell's geomantic dependency. Floating stones, flowing water, even the giant fans. All would be impossible if not for the stone stream. You didn't even ask him a question. If I can sell it or not. I don't care about these other stuff. But can the stone stream help us in battle? Perhaps. Its effect is pervasive. We might be able to manipulate it to our advantage. Still, that would be a drastic course of action. For the time being, we must protect what we can. What exactly are you trying to protect? Geomantic artifacts are scattered throughout these mines. Tomes, devices, enchantments. And Painite. One of the rarest gems in all of Ebb. Key to the greatest accomplishments of geomancy. Hmm, what makes it valuable? Why is Painite so valuable? Geomancers often used the term facilitator to describe substances that amplified the reach and flow of magic. Among their scholars, no facilitator was accorded higher value than Painite. Alright, so there's only one dialogue choice, so why not just do it? I have to actually activate it. It's pretty funny. You want me to find some Painite, I assume? Yes, you have a lodestar already, so you'll know how to use this. It's a lodestar that reacts to the presence of Painite. A dozen samples will be sufficient. I will greatly appreciate it if you bring them to me. Is this important? What do dwarven riches matter when the mountain is under siege? Hey, that's not a question. I speak of geomancy. Lord Devonsey risked the lives of his men to save me, for I have the power to move Earth. My knowledge must be shared. Imagine what even a dozen men such as myself could do to shape a battlefield. If the dwarven geomages yet lived, against all their power and knowledge, Jane would have no hope of entering these mines. Jane is still breaching tunnels. Can Geomancy help us right now? Of course. I still have a role to play in all this, when the time is right. Still, demanding as present needs are, we mustn't neglect the contribution of Geomancy to a royalist future. The knowledge must be protected. I'd better head to the mining tunnels. May the battle go well. Every second that Jane is held back could make the difference. Got a new quest, I guess. Help that Phineas guy. And another quest right here. And let me save and then do another video.